हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर पार्थ गोस्वामी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रेडिएशन कार्सिनोजिनेसिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट डू मीन बाई कार्सिनोजन इट्स अ एजेंट दैट विल लीड टू कैंसर डेवलपमेंट दैट इज नोन बाई द नेम कार्सिनोजन नाउ कार्सिनोजन कैंसर कोचिंग कोजिंग एजेंट कुड बी ऑफ थ्री टाइप केमिकल कार्सिनोजन देन माइक्रोबियल कार्सिनोजन और इट कुड बी ड्यू टू रेडिएशन इंड्यूस कार्सिनोजिनेसिस राइट सो दिस आर द थ्री टाइप ऑफ कार्सिनोजन कैंसर कोजिंग एजेंट नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस इन द डिटेल अबाउट द रेडिएशन कार्सिनोजिनेसिस द नेम इट सेल्फ सजेस्ट इट मीन्स रेडिएशन इंड्यूस कैंसर यू नो रेडिएशन इज अ वेरी वेल नोन कार्सिनोजन एंड आफ्टर द रेडिएशन एक्सपोजर द कैंसर विल डेवलप आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग लेटन पीरियड यू नो द लेटन पीरियड कुड बी अप टू सेवन टू टेन ईयर्स and meanwhile you know radiation is having the synergistic or additive effect with other carcinogen so with other carcinogen radiation could act as a potent carcinogenic agent now let's uh, first of all see which are the type of radiation exposure that lead to cancer development so there are two type of radiation one is ultraviolet rays and second one is ionizing radiation so ultraviolet rays particularly ultraviolet a b and c could be responsible for cancer development the source for ultraviolet rays could be sunlight uv lamp or welder's arc all right and the second type of radiation is ionizing radiation right the ionizing radiation again could be of two type electromagnetic or particulate or particulate radiation now which are the example of electromagnetic radiation so that is the x ray and gamma rays right and the particulate include alpha particle beta particle proton and neutron so that could be particulate radiation so such type of radiation exposure can lead to cancer development first of all let's see ultraviolet rays so ultraviolet rays could be of three type that can cause a cancer right and it could lead to three type of cancer development squamous cell carcinoma basal cell carcinoma and the malignant melanoma these three type of cancer could be developed by ultraviolet rays and it's a common on sun exposed area of body you know where the sun exposure is maximum in that area of body such cancer can develop now the risk of cancer development will depend upon the three factor every individual doesn't develop cancer right so risk could be depend upon three factor one is type of ultraviolet rays second one is intensity of exposure and third one is amount of melanin concentration in the skin epidermis right all right you know the fair skin people and you know fair skin people and those who are living in area with uh, greater sunlight exposure is having the high risk for development of ultraviolet rays in rays induced cancer right the example of such area is uh, you know australia then queensland etc in such area the people are very fair skin and they ha- they are having the greater sunlight exposure intensity all right as we have discussed ultraviolet light solar spectrum you know could be of three type ultraviolet type a b and c ultraviolet a is having the wavelength 320 to 400 nanometer while b is having the 280 to 320 nanometer while ultraviolet c is having 200 to 280 nanometer wavelength the ultraviolet b is a most common uv rays causing the cancer ultraviolet c is a most potent mutagen causing cancer but it doesn't usually cause cancer because it is filtered by our ozone layer of earth all right now let's see the pathogenesis of uv ray induced cancer how they cause the cancer so first of all whenever you have the uv uv light type b exposure they will lead to formation of pyrimidine dimers in the dna and such pyrimidine dimers you know distort the dna helix structure they will distort the dna helix structure and so it will prevent a proper pairing of dimer with the bases in the opposite dna strand it prevent the proper pairing of dimers with the bases in the opposite dna strand 
right in such way it can damage the dna and can lead to cancer you know such uh, mutant dna can proliferate and cancer can develop usually in our body whenever pyrimidine dimer form they will get repaired by nucleotide excision repair pathway right but suppose okay it's repaired by nucleotide excision repair pathway but suppose if there is a excessive sun exposure if you have the excessive sun exposure or you have the underlying disease four disease particularly that can lead to cancer development because of failure of nucleotide excision repair pathway right so in this four disease you know the dna repair could be defective and that's why uv rays can cause cancer development these are the four underlying disorder i mean i want to say this underlying four disorder can lead to cancer development because of defective dna repair one is xeroderma pigmentosum you know it can lead to cancer in a very young age the second dna repair defect is ataxia telangiectasia you know it can lead to development of blood cancer particularly like that of leukemia acute and chronic myeloid leukemia right then bloom syndrome that can lead to development of all type of cancer the fourth one is uh, fanconi anemia that is also defective dna repair congenital disorder right it can increases the cancer risk and this all are you know autosomal recessive disorder they are not disease they are the disorders like autosomal recessive all right now let's see about the ionizing radiation right so see the ionizing radiation can lead to cancer development right so commonly they lead to following cancer development one is leukemia blood cancer then skin cancer you know they can lead to leukemia and skin cancer and especially uh, following the occupational exposure of ionizing radiation such cancer develop the second one is lung cancer you know exposure could be by nuclear plant accident all right then third variety of cancer that could be produced by ionizing radiation is acute myeloid leukemia chronic myeloid leukemia and the solid tumor of uh, our organs like that of breast colon and thyroid and the lung right all such cancer can occur because of ionizing radiation especially you know the example is in hiroshima and nagasaki where atomic bomb explosion survivors develop such type of cancer so these are the example of cancer production by ionizing radiation exposure one interesting research is that uh, you know the evidence is not conclusive but the research says that you know possible risk with a cell phone use if you use excessive cell phone mobile phones then it is associated with brain tumor it's interesting research but not proven all right now let's see the pathogenesis of ionizing radiation induced cancer how it lead to development of cancer so basically there are four mechanism of causing the cancer one is free radical formation second one is point mutation third one is chromosomal breakage chromosomal breakage and fourth one is translocation translocation means transfer of transfer of one part of genetic material from chromosome to the other part of chromosome all right you know that this all can lead to genetic damage and it can lead to cancer development see these are the example the non -neo neoplastic cancer like that of leukemia thyroid cancer breast cancers carcinoma skin lung cancer can develop non neoplastic disorder include cataract fibrosis myocardial fibrosis constrictive pericarditis stricture you know kidney infection sterility and radiodermatitis so such neoplastic and non neoplastic uh, disorder can occur because of ionizing radiation exposure all right now remember some points guys uh, you know lymphoid tissue is a most sensitive tissue to the radiation effect the most least sensitive to the radiation is a bone tissue you know bone is very least sensitive to radiation if we talk about the resistance tissue to the radiation effect then you know skin gastrointestinal tract and bone they are very resistant to the effect of radiation skin git and bone and among that bone is a most resistant to the radiation all right see the most frequent malignant tumor to be caused by radiation is acute leukemia if you are asking the exam 
that which is the most common tumor caused by radiation exposure then answer is acute leukemia you know radiation exposure is strongly associated with development of acute leukemia you know radiation can lead to lymphopenia that is the first hematological feature appear following the radiation exposure so this is all about uv light and ionizing radiation induced cancers thanks for watching and i will be right back with a new video till then take care and bye bye this is the reference for my today's lecture